remark is really quite. Are you on the clock? Yes. Good. Okay. Just let me just say for the record, the way you conducted this meeting up till now is a true reflection of the way you conducted your relationship with the workers at Colorado, KF and I. We want you to know. We want the shareholders to know. We want everybody in this room to know that our membership will increase sacrifices for this company. <laughs> millions upon millions of dollars of sacrifice. And they came to the bargaining table and asked for nothing more than a fair agreement. And what you did was say no. And you compounded that with over a hundred violations of the law. As each day and each week goes by, you're compounding millions of dollars of liability for not taking our members back to work after you replace them with gas. We want you to know, today, tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, we will not go away until our members get a fair settlement and are back to work with dignity and with pride. That's okay. That's okay. My question. My question is, how long are you going to continue to insist on a violation of the law as your code of conduct? How long is it going to take for you, sir, and your board to recognize that you're walking down the path of destruction? How long is it going to take for you to know that you will not destroy the lives of our members, you will not bust this union, and you will not get away without giving them a fair settlement? How long will it take you to come to your senses and to put your people back to the bargaining table and bargain a fair and decent collective agreement to get every one of our members back to work today? How long will it take you, sir? Because we will not go away today, tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a generation from now, until that is done. And don't you, this board, or any of its stockholders forget. That's the rule that we're going to play by. And we're going to use democracy. And we're going to use the law. And we're going to have a relationship with our I have no idea. No. You're in charge of how much is 
here in Portland has priority currently because of its age, and we intend to uh, upgrade not only the furnace, but look at continuous and the options for the mill here because of the new technologies. Thank you. Yes?
I think that we need to be on the high ground here. We don't need to uh, get out of hand. The fact of the matter is that we came here as concerned individuals who happen to have stock and have property and have the same right as any stockholder of any company. And what they've just done is terminate a meeting because they didn't want to hear from both stockholders who happen to be members, happen to be employees of this company. And I think when we leave, we need to not only talk about the kind of oppression that we've all felt and our determination for the cause that we're struggling for, but we need to focus in on the kind of comments this brother made. This brother was really speaking on behalf of all of us. What I was trying to do in here was to get some attention so they recognized us. And prior to my jumping on the stage, they were going to just walk out. We got their attention. But let's focus our comments on the kind of comments this brother made. He had a right to be heard for he and his family and the people of Pueblo, and each and every one of you had that same right. And he terminated that right. Let's report that to the media. Let's report to the media the kind of spectacle that we just demonstrated and perpetrated by American people. Let's decide that it's time to take this struggle, not just to Oregon Steel, not just to the banks, but let's take the struggle to the SEC. Corporations that behave in this kind of manner to their stockholders ought to be taken to task at the SEC. Because the questions were unpleasant. Doesn't mean they didn't have a right to be heard. It doesn't mean they were, didn't have a right to be answered. What he basically said to the world is all answer questions that I like. It's planted stooges in the audience. But if I don't like your questions because they put me on the spot for the kind of corporate outlaw that we chose to be, that I'm not going to answer it, shareholder or no. But that really says, sisters and brothers, is that if you're a shareholder, whether you have to be an employee or not, and you ask this company questions that are unpleasant, they're going to walk out on you. It shows what happened at bargaining. This is the behavior at negotiations. Do as I tell you, do it when I tell you, do it how I tell you, or I'm going to walk on you. So like I told you in the park, a lot of them would be here. One day longer. One day longer. We took a little hike, pulled Morgan Steel shove it, and we went out on a strike. Was a long time coming, we all knew that well. Since 1993, they'd really gave us hell. We walked that line with the picket signs, and we watched those scabs go in and out the gate. Can't wait for the day when they'll hang their heads in shame, and everyone will know that the company's to blame. When they'll run out the gates, and they'll run out the back of 
Jones and the run down the catwalks where cats never go. The find that they have to get a job and have to cross the Rio Grande down in old Mexico. Well, they hired scab replacements. They tried to run that mill. They found out that we knew our jobs like they never will. That's local 3267 and 2102. And we'll never forget the CMW. Well, that line with the picket signs and we watch those scabs go in and out the gate. Can't wait for the day when they'll hang their heads in shame and then everyone will know that the company's to blame. When they'll run out the gates and they'll run out the backwards and they'll run down the catwalks where cats never go. They'll find that they have to get a job and have to cross the Rio Grande down in old Mexico. Well, the international said we'd take them by surprise if we offered to go back. Despite all their lies. So we held a meeting, now we put it to a vote. Then the back we started growing, and that wasn't a joke. <laughs> well, we walked that line with the picket signs, and we watched those scabs go in and up. Can't wait for the day when they'll hang their heads in shame, and everyone will know that the company's to blame. When they run out the gates, and they run down the back roads, and they run down the catwalks where cats never go. They'll find that they have to get a job and have to cross the Rio Grande down in old Mexico. Well, the NLRB ruled in our favor, said the union's righteous, now fire the scab labor. But the company decided to appeal it, thumb their nose at the government, and they were in your shit. Well, we broke that line with the picket signs, and we watched those scabs go in and out the Can't wait for the day when they'll hang their heads in shame. And And they'll run down the backwards and they'll run down the catwalks where cats never go. They'll find that they have to get a job with NAFTA. <laughs> Cross the Rio Grande down in old Mexico. <laughs> the strike in 97.